Lord, we praise you for the day that you have made. Father, thank you that we could be together as a body, as a church, to come and worship you. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would receive the glory that is due you today. Lord, thank you. This is a glorious day, Lord, that we could have a restored, reconciled relationship with you. Lord, thank you. And I pray this in the beautiful name of our Savior, Jesus. Amen. There are going to be men passing out Bibles. If you need a Bible, please raise your hand, and we would love to put a Bible in your hand so that we can uh, read Scripture together here during the Lord's Supper, as well as when Smed comes and brings the Word of God from Romans chapter 8 to us. Uh, when you get a Bible, if you would turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. In a couple of minutes, men are going to come and they're going to pass a tray with a small piece of cracker and a small cup that, that has juice in it. These elements, the cracker and the juice serve as a reminder of the body and the blood that was sacrificed on the cross. Sacrificed when Jesus went to the cross for his Father's glory. Jesus' death on the cross satisfied the Father's wrath, the wrath that was due us, that we could have a right, reconciled relationship with him. In preparing for the Lord's Supper, let me remind you from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Jesus' instruction to us, and I will read from verse 23. For I receive from the Lord that which I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after, also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. As a reminder of numerous promises for Christians, I'm going to read an excerpt today from Milton Vincent's Gospel Primer. If you do not have this, I recommend this is a book for every Christian to have. It's an easy book. You could sit down and renew your mind just reading a page or two in a sitting. Uh, so I'm going to, to read an excerpt that, and I want you to be listening for all the promises that are promises for those that believe, for Christians. I'm going to be reading from a section that is subtitled, God's Work on My Behalf. It's page 60 and 61 from the Gospel Primer. What I could not do, God did. In doing it, he did it all sending his own son into the world to die on the cross for my sins, thereby, thereby showing me unfathomable love. God loved me so much that he was willing to suffer the loss of his son, and even more amazingly, he was willing to allow his son to suffer the loss of him at the cross. Jesus loved me so much that he was willing to lay down his life for me. No one could ever love me more or better than Jesus. On the third day after Jesus' death, God raised him from the dead, thereby announcing that his death was completely sufficient to atone for every sin that I have or will commit throughout my lifetime. God then exalted Christ to his own right hand, where Christ now reigns, from on high, granting salvation and forgiveness to all that call on him by faith. 
as we prepare for the Lord's Supper and the elements, uh, I, I would want for, for those that are here, for believers that proclaim what Christ has done, I want you to cling to the promises from Scripture that I have just read about. If your testimony is that you believe and cling to the fin finished work of Jesus Christ for salvation, please participate in the Lord's Supper. Christian, you, are, you have ex after you have examined yourself, enjoy communion on your own, and then in a few minutes we'll pray together. But if you are here and you would not proclaim that Jesus Christ is your Savior, if you'd proclaim that you're not a Christian, we're glad you're here. If you desire to know more about the gospel, about the work of Jesus Christ, please speak to me, speak to any of the elders, speak to somebody sitting around you, but please don't leave today without having an understanding of what Jesus has accomplished. Men, please come and bring the elements. When you're ready, go ahead and take the elements and participate in the Lord's Supper on your own.